had to take the fall Every one of us breaks the law And I ain't talk about speeding through stop signs And singing the cop sirens That's just the stuff that we see on the outside But he died for the stuff that's inside The stuff that we can hide The lust, lies, the pride Everything else is just fruit from the vine I promise you that's the truth on the line He had to take the trip We got a place to sit Love the sinner but he hates the sin Love the sinner but he hates the sin singing that great traditional food fried hymn. So I sing from the order of service when I survey the one we The reading comes from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 27. From noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabbatha, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. At, at once, one of them ran up and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs were also opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. I just want to reflect with you briefly on this most holy day, on three things that we're doing. The first thing is that we walk together. Christians of this town join together on Good Friday to walk together. In my childhood, people used to march to say that they were different from other people. That's what they used to do in Ireland. But here we walk together because of what we share together. It is a walk together. And that came home to me very powerfully four years ago when on Good Friday I was in Jerusalem. And in the early morning, so many of us gathered to walk the way of the cross from the place where he was tried to the place where he died. 
Christians the world over are walking together the way of the cross. But the second thing is that we walk for a purpose. We walk, and I wonder what you think that purpose is. The purpose isn't really to change other people. The purpose is to be changed ourselves as we are witness to what happened. We have heard that he hung on the cross to show the extent of his love for the world, and by his actions on the cross, the whole of the world is redeemed. And trusting in that alone is the message of the Christian church today. It's good, I want to tell you, that in handing out the Holocaust funds today, not one person in this town refuses the message of the cross. They have all equally accepted it from us. And it is our prayer that if we bear witness within ourselves, that others would see in us a way that is worth following. And finally, what we do today is not easy. It is uncomfortable to stand in the middle of your own town. It's not easy for me to speak in the middle of the whole town with people hearing us, because they know us, they know who we are, and they know so often that our lives do not bear witness to the reality of Christ's God. So it's uncomfortable. The other reason why it's uncomfortable is this, is that there are some people who feel on Good Friday that we have to mention what happened the day after tomorrow. I'm not going to mention what happened the day after tomorrow. For that is the message of the day after tomorrow. It's not the message today. The message today is simply this. That the God of heaven and earth who made everything has loved the world so much that he gave his son and his son showed the extent of his love for us in that while we are still sinners, Christ has died for us. And in this small act of witness, we return that love to God in gratitude for all that he has done for us and stand in solidarity with those who suffer on their own crosses today, the poor and the outcast, the vulnerable, the sick and the elderly, all of which is taken up in Christ's suffering. If this walk and this witness and this discomfort truly speaks to us today, then we will, with the centurion, be able to say, surely, this man was the Son of God. Amen. You're going to sing from the order of service. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Eternal God, in the cross of Jesus you see the cost of our sin and the depth of your love. In humble hope and fear, may we place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer, for those who are deprived and oppressed, for all who are sick, for those in darkness, in doubt and in despair, in loneliness and in fear, for prisoners, captives and refugees, for the victims of false accusations and violence, for all at the point of death and those who watch beside them that God in his mercy will sustain them with the knowledge of his love. Lord, hear us. The Lord, gracious hear us. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
us our trespasses, and we so Christ crucified draw you to himself to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sin forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.